All right, uh, this is Devin Borman from Academy Duello and most of the instructing staff of Academy Duello and friends. And we are unboxing a, we believe, 1550 or 1568 printing of Morozzo's Opera Nova, which we just received today after having purchased uh, at an Amsterdam auction. So I'm going to use my trusty knife here to not do any damage. You can see I've already done a little bit of opening. And uh, we were already saying that we were not impressed with the packaging. But, well, there's even instructions on how to make a box. Okay, so this is the time when we can really uh, damage our actual product value. Do they have like a return policy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they did say, well, there was a return policy if there was damage to the book that they didn't report. Uh, so I'll say, have there, you, you didn't report these massive knife, knife slashes. <laughs> Is the publisher still in business? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Those European companies go on forever. So Even more careful. We, we were not impressed with the packaging, mostly because, the, as you can see, the package is kind of bowed out over the edge of the book. Did you capture that, the bowing? Bowing. Not the <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, no I, I've, I've actually, the, the um, various books from the 1500s, especially yeah. martial arts books, are often about this size. Oh, they bleached it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the original parchment and the original uh, tape on there and everything. Okay, maybe the knife should be closed up and put away from it now. Maybe we shall stop reading. Do you want rubber gloves? Did you wash your hands? Do we have latex gloves? Yeah, we do, actually. Do you want to get the latex gloves? Do you want to get the latex gloves? All right, well, let's get some latex gloves. I haven't touched it yet. Okay, the binding was redone in, in the 1900s, or in the 1800s, is my understanding, and it actually looks like it's in pretty awesome shape. It's been a while since we added skin oil to it. And there it is, lot 37. There's our unveiling right there. All right, we're going to crack the cover here. Not literally. So Don't that's, the that's parchment the inside. The oh, look at that. There's my name. Hey, well, we don't need that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they nicely wrote 37 on the inside here. Thank you, Adams of Amsterdam. It makes it official. <laughs> There's no writing in this book. Uh, Invisible ink. So this is obviously new pages added has with the new been, binding. Has it been yet rebound? It was rebound in, in uh, the Victorian uh, time. They really liked rebinding oh, things. There it is. Oh, Opera right. Nova. And also painting things. There's the industrial shot. age, and then the rebinding is <laughs> right after. <laughs> Was yeah, the just, be just before the disposable age. Look at the size of that writing. <laughs> okay, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Can you look at your pictures, you mean? Yes. Mm. Wow, that is a really crisp picture. That's awesome. Wow. This from the 1500s. There we just this is the, the like prologue of the third assault. It says there. Like del prologo del terzo assalto. stuffy European family that this is the the beginning of the second assault you know that wasted 400 that's years the beginning of every assault shelf. you know that right like just sat there here's the beginning What's of the that? first assault the so these are in amazing yeah. this is really in great shape yeah. this is really spectacular so you can see some fading on the uh, some of the plates what does the paper feel like it's it feels it's parchment so it it feels uh, a little coarser than uh, modern Modern paper. That could be the mushroom soup. It's still in my hand. Mm. No. <laughs> Are we looking at the progression right now? Uh, this is the progression. Kind of like that would be quite funny if you get to like page yeah. 100 and there's somebody else's food stain on there. Yeah. Coffee ring. <laughs> Here's the, uh, this is very cool. This is the Morozzo circle that's often compared to the Spanish circles. Really? I did know Morozzo was good. Hey, Wes, look at what yeah. guards they're in. I know. Look at that, Wes. Know. Aren't you excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's, in fact, the word prima appears frequently in this book. <laughs> There's the cutting man. Oh boy, there you go. He's got a knife. Three to tango. There's two targa. We gotta make one of those. A Zulu shield? Yeah, a <laughs> Zulu shield, exactly. <laughs> Rotso is very fond of fighting with the Zulus. Yeah. I believe they concluded that such shields must exist even before actually observing. Oh yeah, this is, oh that's, this is a different picture than I have yeah. of this. Um, 
The nice thing about this is that for a lot of the pictures of these, I have the later, when the plates were redone later, the, the images of the figures, or actually the earlier ones I think are slightly different than these. I love the Lens Connect style yeah. pop and slash. So this is the most damage I've seen so far than yeah. some of the fading. There was a tear on one of the pages as well. Right. At the bottom. The kind that you get from lifting the pages. So they spadone. <coughs> well, oh, there's some damage to that guy. That was an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it's much bigger than the other. It'd be nice if it was a deed to an Italian castle. <laughs> so here's the progression of the uh, the Spadone Guardia. Do you think that the auction house actually went through it? To, to verify it? I don't know. Maybe the original, um, the owner of it may have done that. But I think they probably did go through and give a pretty close inspection to be able to give their account. Because a lot of them, they, they don't necessarily tell you on page 37 there's this damage, but they tell you on several pages there is this type of damage if they if they believe it's worth accounting for. But the truth is this book is in phenomenal shape. Yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty big... Yeah, that's kind of interesting fading. It looks actually it's come through a couple pages. It looks like a paraffin or something. It's sort of like um, cook through. Yeah, or skin oil. Yeah, Someone be. fell asleep with their head <laughs> on that spot of the book. So, oh yeah, these are the partisan plates. With their greasy do head. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, were books expensive even in those days? Yes. Yes, okay. exceptionally. So if you had a book that was like... Well, and you know, it was already, obviously you're educated because so you know how to read. So. Oh, well, not necessarily. <laughs> I think if a library had... Yeah, I got many university so students, I think. Mm. That was a pretty... Oh, what's I've never seen that one before. That, that plate you yeah, no, I haven't seen that plate either. You know, one thing I like about this form factor is it should fit easily in my bag that I take, you know, my laptop in. Yeah, it should be great. What you reading on? On the bus. Yeah, I'll just, exactly. Um, sadly, in this in this particular printing with these plates, which are my favorite plates, I don't think they have the beard throw in this particular one, which is really the. I just like that layout. Is that possible? Throw somebody by their beard. That's why armies oh. were. Depends on how long saying. and rigid their beard is. Yes. And how much food is inside. That's why they oiled yeah. their beards. <laughs> <laughs> just slide right off. Can't you then also do an oh, no. or something? Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I love these. Uh, <laughs> these are brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have to do that with your book. <laughs> I, absolutely. Just geometrical Hourglass, shapes for the yeah. sake of geometry. It's to make beautiful the book. So what was the printing method used for these books? Ink. Yeah. Slavery. On paper. <laughs> On paper. This is, these were done with either copper plates. I think these ones were done with copper plates. So, so they're engraved copper plates that are, are inked and then pressed onto the pages. So each, each page had to be a separately engraved Correct. plate. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the plate was not made up of small pieces that were put together. No, no okay. it is a single like a wood block or something yeah. like that. A single they they do uh, wood carvings were often were common too. I just know that this but one I yeah. when I was reading about this one, it said it was done with copper plates. I know that the original Gutenberg press. Oh, go. there is there is a beard grab they right did there. It for oh, there you go. Yeah. For By newspapers. the hairs on his chinny chin chin. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they did that for books. I think this one was wall like that one. Books were used yeah. for plates <laughs> because they would. Was that a ground plate? It was a ground plate. Yeah. A lot of these plays look like Fiori plays. Yeah. They're, they're very similar. It's wrestling. Yeah. Quick, put it away, Mark. And. Oh. oh. That's I like that they wrote it in the same fashion, but this is probably one of the owners. Can you read it? The original? Um, this book is. Alright, our meter is up. This book is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'd have to spend a little time on it. Yeah, too. the Heinrich. Yeah. Oh, Mike, you just came up the end. Alright, nice Story's little note at the end. Little note at the end. We'll bring it out yeah. So that is the end of our our opening. Yeah, so when do we have sort to sort of show you the one? spine here. Yeah, exactly. Our library loan. So here the spine printed 1550. Um, however, the uh, one of the the I've got to take a look through it because one of the accounts I was reading online account said that it was one of the scholars who looked at this particular edition earlier said that it was that they believed it was an earlier printing, um, and I don't believe there was a 1550 printing of the manual. So we don't we aren't certain. So I'll have to do a little research. So. Thanks for joining us at Holman. Thanks, guys.